Bill Cosby wins big in court, but the media won't tell you that, baby. You see, all you're gonna keep hearing is Judy Huff, the woman who accused him of having sex with her when she was 15 or some type of sexual relations. And you keep hearing she was awarded $500,000. And it makes it seem like Cosby took a L. But what you're not hearing is that him and his legal team avoided punitive damages. Anywhere from 30 to $50 million could have been ordered for him to pay. But he awarded, he, he avoided it. And um, this is a huge victory. And uh, I have a, a clip of his lawyer, Andrew Wyatt, and he's gonna break this down. Everything you need to hear that the press didn't blow up. Check this out. After I do my live updates and you know, I reporting on what was going on in the courtroom, I always call them and my favorite saying was booyah. And Mr. Cosby, I called yesterday and he said, booyah. And he said, what happened? I said, well, Mr. Cosby, um, they awarded her $500,000. I said, but they did not get punitive damages. He said, what? I said, yeah, no punitive damages. Uh, the $500,000 was a huge victory for us. And the reason why I say that is because they could have given her unlimited damages and punitive damages, and they did not, which told us that, yes, they wanted to punish Mr. Cosby, the jurors, and we found out from juror number two and juror number three who spoke with Mr. Cosby that many of the jurors came in with a bias against him. Um, many of the jurors came in saying, we have daughters, and uh, we just think he should be punished. But they didn't feel that Judith Huff um, really reached her burden uh, to say that she suffered anxiety, depression, panic attacks, uh, night sweats, nightmares because of Bill Cosby. And she was awarded only $500,000 as, as um, Ms. Adrian did to Ms. Barbette, juror number two said, we were going to stay there and fight every day, all day, uh, because we were not going to let her walk away with a million dollars. We found out that she has uh, mounting legal bills with Nathan Goldberg and Gloria Allred in the tune of $4 million. Also, they did this on the contingency where they get 33.3%. We will be filing an appeal, uh, Anjanetta, in, in two weeks in Judge Carlin court, which she would never get to see a payday. She would never get to see a payday. And if Mr. Cosby... The, the victory for us is him not having to uh, pay punitive damages. That could have ranged all red and uh, Nathan Goldberg wanted us to pay uh, their firm between 10 and $15 million. But the jurors, um, it was an unlimited number. They could have ordered a role. They could have said, hey, you know, uh, pay her $50 million. But that was a victory for us.